All right, so Revolution by the Beatles, 1968. This was put out as the B-side of um, a single, with, and Hey Jude was the uh, the A-side. Um, and when you think about it, that's quite a record, right? Hey Jude on one side, Revolution on the other. Wow. Anyways, this one was recorded with the guitars going straight into the console. And that's what makes for that really crazy distortion. Like they just, they pumped up the, uh, the mic preamp on the channels and just created this distortion. Like there's no amps, right? Just straight into the console. And um, I was reading, um, I'll, I'll put the link, the Beatles Bible link below and the Wikipedia link below too to this song. And it's really, there's a lot of really cool things were happening with this song. When they sold the single, they, they had a lot of returns. Uh, people just returned the single because they said there was it was defective <laughs> because of all the distortion, right? Um, so it's crazy. Like the Beatles were always pushing limits, right? And this this one, literally, they were pushing the limits. Um, and John Lennon sang the vocal, lying on his back in the studio, because that's how he felt he, he would get the best uh, performance. Uh, a lot of crazy things going on with this song. Plus, you know, they recorded the slow version, too, for the uh, White Album. And that slow version was in the key of A. And this quicker version is kind of, it's up. It's sort of B, B flat. It's in between B and B flat. And I'm not sure how they did that, if they sped the tape up after they had recorded it or or they tuned up. Because if you watch that David Frost video of them playing, and it's on the Beatles Vivo YouTube channel, um, they're playing it in A, okay? All the finger rings are in A, so they're playing it in A. So what I did with the demo is I played it in A because I didn't want to, you know, get people tuning up to B and, uh, you know, leaving me all kinds of nasty messages about breaking strings and stuff, right? So I'm just playing it in A. Okay, so there's two guitar parts. Um, there's John and George, right? And and actually, uh, there's a lead part too. So we'll go over all that. Okay, so we'll start with the intro. And this is such a classic, iconic intro, right? And there's a couple of different ways you can play it. But I'll show you, I think, the most common way. And this is the way John is playing it at least the first part on that um, that video on the David Frost show, right? It, so it's here, it's um, uh, B string, E string on the fifth fret. We're gonna slide into that and do it again. And the last time we're gonna come up here and hit B8, put a little vibrato on it, and then we're gonna go so it's uh, G9, B8, and then bend on B10, right away hitting E10. So. And then to get out of that, he's gonna go like this. That's open B, and then uh, D and G on the seventh, sliding all the way down to the second. Okay, so that whole thing slowly would be. So that's what's happening on the record. I don't know if that open B was a mistake. You know, he just wanted to go, but he hit that open B which actually sounds kind of cool, right? Okay, so that's one way you can do it. Now, I kind of hear this note in there on the record, you know, I kind of hear that. You know, you could, playing it that way, you're like um, D5 or D7, G9. So you can do it that way too. I think actually, I mean, I don't know for sure, and it's really hard to tell. Uh, because as you might have noticed, like in my demo, all the guitars, I try to emulate what they did in the stereo recording. They're all on the right side, okay? So <laughs> it's really hard to differentiate between the two guitars. But I think there's two guitars in the beginning. I think one's playing it there. I think one, one's playing it here. And this one would be George, right? And what you hear at the end of that is this. Right, you hear that 
Oh, low E, da 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 da, right? If you're really listening to the record, uh, really, really, you'll hear that, okay? So, anyways, I think that's how they're doing. Now, we'll finish off John's part. So, it's in A, right? So, he's just going to go like this. All bouncing off the A. You know, just rock and roll, right? D2 to D4. Hammer. Hammer that on though, right? He can do all down strokes or he can, he can upstroke that D string. So that's the basic essence of all that rhythm, okay? And he just changes chords. He goes to a D and an E and does the same lick. But when he changes to that D, I always thought for years, um, I thought he would go like this. Like bounce off the D string there, right? Because D chord, you play the D, D string. But he's not doing that. He's staying on that A. You don't go to the D, you bounce off the A the whole time. Oh, my own, it changes your world. Now we go to the E chord. Right, just A2, hammering onto A4, exactly the same as the A, just down a string. We got to really mute here, you know. If you're if you're going, it's just not going to cut it, right? So we got to really heavily mute. Now we're going to go to this next section where we got a B minor and an E, B minor, and then a G bar chord. A bar chord, F sharp, down to the E. And how that works is the whole time the bass is not hitting the B note on that B minor, it's hitting the F sharp note. Okay, so that's why that sounds so kind of whoa, weird there, right? Because it's a B minor over an F sharp in the bass. But what the guitar does is it goes, it kind of just hits the low note the first time and then to an E next time it's you kinda gonna slash those upper strings as well right and it's four on that F sharp three four then A back to this from the E minor and you talk about destruction but you know that you can back to this always off the a string right all right it's gonna be all right Okay, and that part there, um, I see so many guys play it and teach it like this. But that's just not what's happening there. What's happening is this. So it's hammer on from open to A2, open D. And then it's um, A2, A4. To the E note on D2. All right, and to get into that from the D chord, we've got to make sure we hit that open G. And mute that open G the second we hit that uh, low E.
And to get back into the A, we're going to do that open D twice, right? And then we're back into the, uh, the verse, or the A section, right? Okay, so... So that's that whole bit there. And um, the only other part now is he adds a little embellishment later on in the song. I think it's in the third verse. I'm not exactly sure where that is, but just listen to the track and you'll hear it, um, where it's like... Here. So he's just... Just that, right? Hammering on that D string. And also, you know, putting that. So we've got, you know, that two things, right? Kind of like that. And that's a real feel kind of a lick, right? But you can definitely hear him doing that in there. And then I guess the only other thing with this part, with John's part, is the ending. And the ending, uh, you know, I could always hear, always hear that, but that lick before is really cool, and I don't see a lot of guys playing that. So that's super cool, and I've, I've never really heard that before, right, until I started really learning this. So what you've got there is coming out of this D, we've got that open G, then we're going to go like this. So we're going to go, and I would finger it this way, separate with your third and fourth fingers, like you could bar it, but you'll run into trouble later if you do that. So I would do it like this. And it's just down, up, down, up. Down, up, down, up, down, up, right? And then we go. Just the fifth fret, D and G. Back to seventh fret, A and D. And then seventh fret, D and G. You know, you can bar it or you can... And that last chord is open A and D5. So it's... And then we just hit once on the D and G. So we've got... Again, out of this... And then just kind of from the B flat to the A. Okay. And that's it for John's part. Now, getting into George's part, he's kind of going to be up here mostly in that, that A. It's like an A here, but an octave higher. And he's going to be basically just going like this. Just put an octave higher, right? So you're barring here. And then he's going to go to the D. But, you know, you're going to emphasize. So you've got that D7, right? Sometimes it's the D7, other times it's, it's just standard, you know, those two notes, right? And then...
Okay, so we're just going up to the E chord there. And then we're going to double up. And then you talk about deception. What you know is that you can... And the chorus, he's doing this. So it's just... And then he's going to do this lick. Right? And then the A, emphasizing that third, right? Okay, and kind of a slash on the E there. You could do it up here. Right? And then the open E string. Wild John. And then there's the ending. And that's just a little half step bend on the B string, B7, B5, and then those two note chords, right? Down to A, and that's it, right? And then we've got that solo, okay? And the solo kind of comes out of... And this is more of a piano solo, but it starts with that lick with the guitar, right? So it's um, 12th fret, half step bend on, on the B string while holding 12th on the E. Kind of put a vibrato on that, right? And then as it goes to the, to the D chord, he's going to go like this. Weird, weird. Uh, it's a slide up from... Uh, B4 to B5, pull off E5, E4. I'll play it that whole bit. <laughs> it gets pretty crazy there because at the end you're bending up to an F and you got that open E, right? So you get that real distance. But it sounds great in the track with the other instruments, right? So from here, we're going to go. And that's... It's the um, seventh fret, G to B. And that... It's like a slash, right? Da 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 slash. And then... Just the E note on um, B5, B3, open. Right? Weird. It's a weird lick. It, it took me a little while to kind of ha wrap my head around this lick. Now we're going to go just sliding back up, right? Ending on E5. And then we're going to get into this octave thing. So, you know, doing that, but all the while hitting, holding that open E string. Dun, 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 dun. That kind of a strumming, right? And then he starts. Just bending that, right? But the whole time holding that open E string. So you get that. Okay. <laughs> A really, really cool solo. Really fits the song because it's kind of like 
got that real nasty um, tone about it, right? Okay, so piano was doing the thing there, and then Okay, so, and, you know, that's not identical, but it's a feel thing there, right? But that's the idea. And then the only other lead thing is... Um... Okay, and that comes, you know, in that break. There. Same thing, right? That little half step bend on B12 and you just kind of feel your way through that right and at the end he's uh he's just making a weird noises up here somewhere I didn't do that on my demo because um I just couldn't get it to sound good <laughs> um really weird there's some you know like all Beatles stuff there's always weird sounds on the records right anyways that's pretty well it it's pretty well all the parts um yeah awesome song you know really 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 great song always loved this song and uh, hopefully that straightens out a couple of areas for people you know, that part and the ending and uh, just various little bits and pieces um, that people tend to kind of gloss over a bit right anyways I hope you get something out of the lesson hope you enjoy playing the song and we'll talk to you next time